Hello everybody and welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Uh, typically on my channel I've worked with two things. I've worked with some gaming related stuff and some tech items in relation to tablets. Today I'm going to combine the two and kind of work with tech for gaming. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Horizon and Gibbed. These are going to be a save game editor for the Borderlands 2 game. Now a couple of items that you're going to need for doing this, if you're working on an Xbox or a PlayStation 3, you'll need some form of transportation of getting your save game file over to your PC. You can do that with an external hard drive, a cable to your Xbox hard drive, or a flash drive or even maybe an SD card reader that does uh, memory cards and can plug in through USB. So. I've got my save game here on this little sand disk. You can also use a device like this that um, has an SD card and it reads it through USB. So what I've done is I've taken this and I've plugged it into the USB port on my Xbox and I told it to copy over the character that I had which was a level 50 uh, commando at the time. The ultimate Vault Hunter pack is out. I've got the season pass, so now he's around like 53 or 54. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, open my little thumb drive over here. And while I'm doing that, we're going to put on a little bit of background music. The soundtrack for Starbound, a game that's coming out uh, sometime soon. So, let's see over here. Of course, I've got this thing clamped on kind of tight. Alright, so you're going to take your thumb drive that has a copy of your saved character and you're going to put it on a USB slot on your PC. And since it's on my keyboard, it gives me the error about putting it on a 2.0 slot. Once you've got it in, you're going to go ahead and launch Horizon. Horizon may come up and say that uh, there's the flash drive popping up in the Xbox 360 folder. We'll leave that open for now. When Horizon comes up, it may say that it has to update. Say, go ahead and do yes. Download the update. Run it. It may then come up and say about repair or uninstalling .NET 3.5. Just hit cancel. .NET is already installed and uh, you don't need to worry about repairing it. So if you give Horizon a little bit of time, it'll automatically pop up with this side area over here. You're going to double click on games and then you're going to double click on Borderlands 2. As this is popping up, I'll tell you the reason why I did this was never initially to cheat. It was because I had a lovely sniper rifle called the Gentleman's Pimpernel or Scarlet Pimpernel. It was the Pimpernel from the booty expansion. Uh, however, I accidentally sold it and exited the game before I realized I had sold it. So I really wanted it back because I absolutely loved that sniper. When it, when a sniper bullet hits, it spreads into that, that five like flower starburst pattern and does an exceptional amount of damage. And um, I really missed that thing, especially since mine was electrical. It was really good against shielded enemies and shielded bosses. So I went looking for a way to try to get it back because I don't really have a lot of people that I was going to trade with. And that's when I came across Horizon and Gibbed. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you'll see here under Borderlands 2, here's a save game that I downloaded I don't use. And here's my actual commando, as you can see, he's now 54. So you're going to double click on your character. And it's going to come up and it's going to give you this information. It'll say the character's name, Borderlands 2, an ID, device ID, console ID, and then some other stuff that we're not going to work with on this. You will get into these items if you ever decide to download a save and insert it into your character. But that's not what we're going to deal with. We're going to go over to Contents. And what you're going to do here is you're going to see Save Game. Click on it to highlight it, and then right-click, pick Extract. 
When you hit extract, it's going to ask you to go ahead and give it a name. I would probably name it something based on your character, like if your character is El Commando or El Capitan or something, you know, name it like that. But what I would go ahead and do, you don't need to do save as type, just give it a name. I would save it twice, and here's why I would do that. By saving it twice and only editing one of them, you're giving yourself a backup in case you really screw up. Because there are things you can do in Gib, like loading codes for guns that are, you know, extremely crazy. And uh, you don't want to accidentally break your character, so go ahead and extract it twice. One of the copies, you know, do an extraction and name it like Don't Touch or Original, and then extract it again. Once you've got it extracted, you're going to want to use a, another program called Gibbed. I actually have the, the VL2 Save Editor Gibbed in the same folder that Horizon is in just to keep everything together. So you go to Gibb Borderlands 2 Save Editor. It'll come up in a second here. Okay. First thing you want to do in this new version is go here to the save game type. You have to click on the type that is appropriate. The default is PC, but in this case we're dealing with Xbox, so go ahead and pick Xbox 360. And then you're going to go ahead and click on the character that you save. Now here I have it as save game Axe 2 for Axton. And uh, if you did my suggestion of like El Captain and El Captain Don't Touch, obviously, you know which one to pick. When you open it, you'll come up to the screen over here and it'll give you some basic information. You can see his class, his experience level, his experience points, his uh, name, his skin, his head. So you can do some tweaking over here, like you can up his level. Now it's listed here as he's 53, because I'm working on a previous save. I'm not touching the one that I've got at the moment. You can actually jack up his level over here, and you can have it sync the experience points. You can go over to currency and edit your currency. You can set your iridium to max out at 499, which is the new cap, your seraph crystals, your torque tokens. You can check off what saved um, fast travel points you have. Now some are unchecked, and I believe these are just the temporary ones, the ones that get you out of a zone, but don't let you go back. And the last visit of teleporter is where you're going to appear when you respawn in the game, so you can actually change that. For backpack, this is what you're currently wearing and what is in your backpack. You have bank, this is what is in your vault. And this might be, after the last patch, this might be the only way to uh, increase the items in your vault. There used to be the little trick on the Xbox of uh, putting items in there beyond the limit. And let's go ahead and play a different track over here. Starbound soundtrack. Pretty nice, pretty cool. So, you might be able to, you can still break the bank limit through here, even though I'm pretty sure it's still able to break it in game. And then Raw gives you some other items that you can edit directly. Now, we're not really going to get into Raw, we're mostly going to work with Backpack and Bank. Now, one warning, if you have crazy weapons, weapons that don't actually exist in the game, like modified weapons, don't save them in your backpack. The game will know that they're broken guns and will actually delete them or convert them to something that it understands. The bank, however, is a complete free-for-all. You can do anything you want in the bank. If you make a crazy weapon or a modified weapon, you can use it as long as you put it back into the bank at the end of your play session. Now, this is kind of neat if you... Um, let's say you, you had to go really quick, and you didn't get a chance to put a weapon back in the bank. Before you load the game again, pop it over here to give Borland save editor, 
and you can get the item out. For example, if this item over here, this binary thunderbolt fist, see how it has the diamonds, or the, uh, the triangles over here? That's because this isn't a legit gun. This is a binary thunderbolt fist with the infinity barrel and a fire elemental. If this was in my backpack, at the moment that I saved the game and I didn't return it to my vault, you could just go to the item in your backpack, pick copy code, and then over here in the bank, pick, pay, pick paste, and it'll appear in your bank, and then you can just get it back. So if you've ever lost a weapon, don't worry, just get it in here before you load the game up again. Now, here is where you can level up your items. If you picked up a gun you really like at, say, level 30, but now you're level 53, just set it to 53 over here and set it to 53 over here. Now, there are some sites out there that give you codes. Here is the Borderlands 2 wiki, and this will tell you some items about a legit gun. For example, on this one, we're going to look at Gwen's head and it'll tell you the body parts right down there. However, you can search the web for Borderlands weapon codes. And uh, let's see, here we go. Borderlands 2 weapon codes for the save editor. And all these links will be down in the description. So you can go here and hit spoilers. This first section will give you codes for legit guns. These are ones that exist like your legendaries. The Hammer Buster, the Madhouse, the Curb Blaster, Barracks, Hail. So I had come here and I'd gone to Sniper Rifle and I went down to. And it has it for all the expansions, by the way. Oh, where is it? Well, there's the longbow. That's the uh, Minecraft crossbow one. Volcano, Cherami, Pitchfork, Layuda, Skull Smasher. Pretty sure I saw the Pimpernel here somewhere, because this there it is, the Barking Pimpernel. So what you could do is you can copy the code. Just copy it, hit Control C. Come over to the Borderlands editor, and if you go to the bank and you hit Paste Code, You'll see right over here, Barking Pimpernel. It automatically appears, because if you hit paste, it just grabs it right from your clipboard. And you can go ahead and up the level, say to 53. Now this one, because it's a barking, was a slag. Mine was electrical, so I just went over here and I changed the shock and I got my weapon back. This is initially why I got the save editor. However, I have done some fun things with it. I've created a few interesting guns. Now, if you scroll down on this page, you go to the modded weapons. These are the crazy ones. Anything in this modded weapon section needs to be stored in the bank. Do not leave these in your inventory as the game will mess them up or delete them. Uh, one of these over here, this Parquat Infinity, is uh, fantastic. This thing will hit everything on the map, and it's infinite, so it never runs out of ammo, and it's got a really cool fire rate. Um, and again, if you don't like what they have, when you copy the code, you can just simply adjust it. So, we're going to go ahead and, and delete this Pimpernel. Now, some of the ones I've gone with over here, I've, I've added a legitimate Triketa. Uh, I added a legitimate high-level Evil Smasher, because I did have one of those and threw it out before I understood what was going on. But I do have some fun ones over here, like this one, this Purging Infinity. This one is actually a sniper rifle that is modified with the Infinity Barrel. Um, so that's kind of cool. I have an Infinite Trespasser. Now, I was working on the Stalker in uh, Captain Hammerlocks, and he's the guy where if you use the Trespasser, you can shoot his Witch Doctor uh, without downing his shield. So I basically made an infinite Trespasser. Here it is. You can see here the barrel is the Trespasser barrel, but it has the Infinity accessory, so it maintains the fire rate. It's basically the Trespasser, except it never runs out of ammo, and you never waste time reloading, giving you maximum time of working on that Witch Doctor. 
I have a regular fibber over here. I just basically cloned my acid fibber and took out the acid. And uh, I could change it if I wanted to and change it over to like a fire fibber or slag one. Here's a binary thunderball fist with slag instead of electrical. Uh, this ordinary Hydra is legit. This Resolute Rocketeer is legit. So you can do a lot of things with the Gib Borderlands 2 save editor from uh, just giving yourself some items that exist in the game, maybe some items that you deleted, like a blue that you really want back. You can just level up the items. You can make crazy, crazy weapons like I made this Miss Moxie's Infinity. This is a Moxie health leeching uh, submachine gun that runs infinite rounds. So you can do some crazy things like this, uh, which is, you know, higher level cheating, or you can just tweak a few things out, or you can just, uh, say you ran around a with a raid boss, you were trying to solve him, and you really, like, lost a shit load of money. You can just give yourself the money back, so when you're done... You're going to want to go ahead and hit save and pick the exact name of the file that you opened. So, I had opened Save Game X2. You go to Save Game X2, you save it, you close out of Give Borderlands 2, and you come back to Horizon. Here in Horizon, it will automatically come back to your Save Game Save. Right click it, pick Replace. And go ahead and inject back in the file that you worked on in Gibbs. In this case, Save Game Axton 2. When you hit open, it'll say, okay, injection complete or replacement complete. You have to hit save, rehash, and resign. If you do not hit this, all your changes will mean nothing. You have to hit this, it'll say that the save was complete. And then when you are done, you can exit out of Gibbed, you can exit out of Horizon. If you're using the uh, flash drive method, come over here and uh, stop your flash drive process. Well, it's not actually in use anymore, but... Oh yes, okay. Gibbed goes and gone. Alright. So you can go ahead and uh, go over here and eject it legitimately just to be safe. All right, well, it's not really in use. It. Oh, hold on, the Explorer window. There we go. I keep saying it's not in use. It really was. Okay, so. Here we go. And hit stop. Now it can be removed. And you can go ahead and pull it out. And then take this over to your Xbox and play. Now, what I like to do is my original character is saved on the hard drive of my Xbox. Uh, the character I've been running with now is the one here on this flash drive. It's a good idea if you keep your original in place somewhere safe. I play off of this flash drive now so as to never mess with my original level 50. Uh, this was prior to the Ultimate Vault Hunter pack, so now actually that original is four levels behind, but if I ever, like, totally blow up the character, I've got a good base that I can, uh, start off with. Or maybe if I want to play Hammerlock again or something, which I've only done post-50, I could do that. So, that's how to use Horizon in the Give to Borderlands 2 save editor to edit your characters, and I will give you links in the description. Take care, everybody, and hope you enjoyed the video.